Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're talking about Destiny, and we're going to be looking at the fact that Beyond Light got pushed back to November 10th. And in my personal opinion, I don't really care, to be quite honest. Like, it's like, honestly, whatever's, I don't really care. Uh, it's most likely due to the fact that COVID is happening or, you know, it, it, insert excuse here. Whatever it is, I really don't care, to be honest. Uh... I'm guessing a lot of people, a lot of you were expecting me to be angry or like some sort of bothered, but when it comes to delays, I don't get too bothered most of the time, mostly because by the end of the whole thing, we end up getting a better product than we would have when it first got. So for me and my, like, that's how I think that's how I view it. So that's why, like when cyberpunk got delayed the first time I was like, okay, cool. Like we'll, we'll get a better product. And then the second time I was just like, ah, all right, well, like, what the fuck? Like <laughs> that would kind of bother me, but at the same time, we're still going to get a better product. But the, I think the valid anger that some players may have is the fact that it's not the fact that, oh, I'm not going to be able to play it as early as I thought I was or any other like selfish reason. It's more of a concern of how Destiny is going to do. Obviously, Cyberpunk is not going to kill Destiny 2. I don't think it is. It's more along the lines of how it's going to affect the player retention and population because I know for sure. Oh, first and foremost, why am I talking about Cyberpunk and all these worries? Well, because Cyberpunk got delayed to November somewhere. I don't remember where. I think it's a, exactly a week before Destiny's gonna, the new date. So you're gonna, Destiny 2 Beyond Light is going to come out and then a week later, Cyberpunk is going to come out. I think that's where people's fears come in where, oh, well, I, I don't really care about me. It's more of Destiny's retention, player retention and number and population. I think that's where a lot of people, uh, players concerns come into play because Cyberpunk has been a game that everyone has been anticipating. This is for sure going to win a uh, game of the year. If it does not and get in The Last of Us does get it, I'm probably going to lose my shit a little, but cyberpunk is a game that we've all been waiting for it's from the people who made fucking witcher 3 and we all know witcher 3 is an amazing game it's amazing period there's no but so cyberpunk i'm expecting this game to be like mass effect trilogy level of amazing that's how much faith i have in cd project red so the fact that bungie did, are pushing back their game to November 10th, which is a week after Cyberpunk comes out. Does make me concerned for Destiny 2, but at the same time, I don't really care anymore. Whatever. Like, I'm pretty much clocked out of this season. This season is by no means garbage. It's way better than Season of the Worthy. But that being said, Season of the Worthy was literally bottom tier, like, not even bottom of the barrel. It was worse than that. It was the probably the worst dlc expansion whatever you want to call it we've ever had in destiny and i am including that above curse of osiris i think curse of osiris had more to offer than season of the worthy that's how bad i think season of the worthy was but i will say this season was good but i still i still think that season of dawn was the better of the seasons and i think season of opulence was the pinnacle of seasons i think that's what a season should be so my only concern is that if they're gonna prolong season of the arrivals i think they need to come out with a lot of better content in the future that way it can end with a bang because right now everyone's kind of in the same mindset where it's like season of rivals dope it's really good it's really fun and i know a lot of other players are not like it's boring and all this i get that i really do but i feel like the main reason season of the rivals is hitting so well is because of season of the worthy being so bad which is not a fair comparison in my my opinion i think season of dawn was a lot better just content and pretty much everything else season of the arrivals is basically using a lot of things that other seasons didn't have like returning exotics that turn into legendaries that's a big thing that I, that I think the season of arrivals is basically using a lot of the prophecy dungeon is another huge thing that other seasons didn't have so season of the arrivals has a lot more but i still think season of dawn was the better season 
because if we didn't have prophecy dungeon then i think this season would have been pretty dry in my opinion yeah because prophecy is doing a lot of heavy weight for it because the the activity is not that great the contact is like just gambit recycled gambit the weapons are awesome but i don't know if i like them better than season of dawn's weapons and the moments of triumph in my opinion very very lackluster especially if you're someone who doesn't raid at all this is just basically nothing for you i raid more than the casual player but i don't raid enough to call me a raider so for me moments of triumph it should have it should have been a lot better should have been maybe new armor designs for all of the all of the raids that came out maybe something like do a solo version of it where you can solo some of it for the players who don't raid that way they can get some rewards it's it's a lot of issues that i have with moments of triumph where it's just kind of like it's cool but it's not like it's um, i can't even say it's cool it's just like okay cool it's just basically raids but no cap i okay solstice of heroes i haven't done it yet obviously it's not out yet but i've heard that you can acquire the glow through 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 the actual in game instead of just buying it from eververse that's cool i still have to see what eververse is selling for me to actually be like yeah solstice was dope and even then are we going to be able to transmog the solstice of heroes armor with the glow or is it just going to be another case of i bought this glow only for bungie to give me a shitty stat roll on all the armor and never use it again so solstice of heroes has to come with a lot of fire same thing with festival of the lost is it just the haunted forest again with basically a new ar and then you know mummy stuff and then you know a fuck ton of eververse stuff again it's i'm not really too excited for the future aside from beyond light obviously i'm more excited for beyond light mostly because we're getting a lot of content but if you want to be if you have, if i want to be really honest with you guys i'm not expecting much from beyond light mostly because not saying it's going to be garbage or anything it's mostly protecting myself of like i'm not going to expect anything what and then if i if i have more than what i've expected then it's going to be better for me so i'm just expecting a new raid at least two new armor sets a new subclass and burn and that's it that's all i really i'm really expecting i'm not expecting a new dungeon because we already got prophecy if they gave us another dungeon i'm not gonna say no to it i would love it but i don't expect it a new raid obviously i'm expecting a new raid i should say i shouldn't say that i'm expecting new armor for the raid but you know with garden of salvation i have to fucking say that now please give us new armor and not something reskin from eververse that would be amazing or just you know fucking the bare minimum uh yeah that's pretty much it dude like i this 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 dlc better be fucking fire or i'm gonna get mad so let me know what you guys think about the delay are you guys mad about it happy about it let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support i really do appreciate it i will be doing more destiny content in the future once like solstice of heroes comes out festival of the lost i usually do like guides and stuff like that and if by chance the eververse pisses me off i will definitely do videos of that because that's probably what i'm known for most most, most that's probably what i'm more known for unfortunately but i will be trying to do other content like what is it tomorrow is friday and ghost of tsushima comes out best believe i'm gonna do content for that game because that game's gonna be fire how long i'm going to do the content depends on if the game's actually fun and if i'm actually engaged in it to the point where i'm actually going to be making content be not saying that game doesn't look fun or anything it's just that it gives me assassin's creed vibes and i'm not gonna lie to you guys assassin's creed's boring for me now literally the same shit over and over that's probably why you'll never see an assassin's creed game aside from maybe valhalla because i love vikings so with that one i'm like ah, i guess i guess i'll try it but that's pretty much it if you guys would like to see other content let me know in the comments below i'm very open to other content at the moment because i'm very much bored not playing destiny right now actually at the moment i'm playing wow i'm actually leveling up leveling up a few characters because obviously 
with the new de- with the new expansion coming out, which is Shadowlands. There we go. With Shadowlands, I'm definitely gonna pick that up as well. I'm big on WoW. I love WoW. I just unfortunately cannot make it my main game because it suffers from the same problems of Destiny 2, but on a smaller scale. Destiny 2, just each like, dude. It, I should probably make a video explaining the differences of Destiny 2 and like an actual MMO, like WoW. So damn, that would be a fucking cool video, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I will see you guys later. Like I said, links, description, everything. If you guys have noticed, I've been I've been put, putting up my Instagram video. That's not mostly for you guys. If you guys enjoy it, I mean, fucking a, cool. I love it. It's just it's more of a backlog to put my content from Instagram to my YouTube. That way I can have it cataloged because I am pretty much not doing Instagram at the moment because I just can't be bothered to, to be honest, but I'm thinking about doing it again. But yeah, just if you have any questions in the comments below, it would be great. And be careful, guys. You guys know what's happening in the world. And other than that, we'll see you guys later.